sport of curling is expanding across the United States, and so are sites for the men's and women's national championships. And in 2024, we find ourselves in East Rutherford, New Jersey, at the Rankin American Dream. And today is when we will decide the champions in 2024 for both the women and the men. 1977 was, U was when USA Curling first awarded a women's national champion. And now we will see who wins this year in Tabitha Peterson or Sarah Anderson. Along with 2018 Olympic gold medal winner Tyler George, I'm Joe Tolleson. And you take a look at the draw here. Sarah Anderson was the top seed after the round robin, but lost to Tabitha Peterson in the page playoff. Had to go through the semifinal and defeated Delaney Strauss. So it is Peterson and Anderson, a rematch not only of that first game in the page playoff, but also the first game of this entire championship to decide who will win the gold medal in 2024. And it's two teams that have been playing very well throughout this tournament. You can see both 6-1 and one records in the round robin and Sarah Anderson going through on the head-to-head -head result against Tabitha Peterson. And for these teams, they will have their jobs cut out for them in the pressure situation that is a national championship. For Tabitha Peterson, her third, Corey Tisi, Becca Hamilton, and her sister Tara Peterson to lead things off. And can they get a second straight win over Sarah Anderson? Sarah Anderson also with her sister, Taylor Anderson, Lexi Lanigan, and Leah Yavaro. And as we get set to start this off, well, there are a couple of things that occur here in the finals. One, a team can pick rocks, and they can pick the rocks, Tyler George, from any rink, uh, any sheet of ice that has been used in this championship. And then whoever is the higher seed, and in this case, by virtue of winning the page playoff game, it's Tabitha Peterson. That person gets choice of do they want to pick their rocks or do they want to pick the hammer? 99.999%, I think, teams pick the hammer. Today we have that .001%. Tabitha Peterson took rocks. Yeah, the only time you usually see a team select rocks as opposed to hammer is if you have to use the set that's on the sheet you're playing and you really like a certain set or you really dislike the other one more likely. In this situation, you can choose rocks from any sheet and any combination. It doesn't have to be a full set. You could take one and two red from sheet B and three and four red from sheet four. doesn't matter. The, the, ch the decision, I, I'm just wrapping my mind around this. <laughs> the decision to choose red for tab and give Sarah Hammer really doesn't make a lot of sense because, again, you can mix and match a set. If you can't find eight good stones out of these four sheets, you haven't been doing your job the entire week. So th we were told that there's a set of red that Sarah really liked that they wanted to use. But even at that, it, it, it can't possibly make that big a difference that you wouldn't still want hammer and you'd actually give the other team that advantage to start the game, which you've earned by winning the one, two, and being in this final. And in this situation, you get to pick Hammer, and then Sarah Anderson would still get to decide which rock she wants. You got 50-50 chance she takes yellow rocks anyway. Yeah, uh, they, their <laughs> intel apparently was that they didn't like playing with the yellow stones, they hadn't done as well with them this week, and that there was a set that they really liked for red again. But that, again, if it was choosing on one sheet... I could maybe understand it, but you're still giving up a major advantage with Hammer. We'll see if it ends up mattering. If Anderson comes out and scores two or three in the first end, then we're definitely going to have some eyebrows raised. I, I don't know how they came to the decision that it was important enough to give them color when they could choose any eight rocks from any of the other sheets. Again, they're not forced into using the ones on C. And not to get into the weeds, but steel efficiency for this event is at 38% for Tabitha Peterson, but to, to count on stealing things early on to make this work is a little different. Right now as we get ready for opening ceremonies, here is the National Anthem.
And now we'll get player introductions before we get underway here in this 2024 Women's National Championship. And Tyler, as we await that, I've been trying to come up with another correlation. The closest I can come up with is being in Game 7 of the World Series and go, you know what? I know we're in San Francisco to play the Giants, but the Giants are going to say, you know what, we'll let the other guys bat last. That's probably <laughs> as close as you're going to get for a mainstream sport. We'll uh, let the PA take it away for the intros for the players here. So the handshakes from the two teams, Tabitha Peterson and Sarah Anderson, the skips. And we talk about a psychological thing on Tabitha Peterson deciding she wanted to pick red stones over having hammer. What does it do, psychological approach and confidence for Sarah Anderson and her team to unexpectedly get the hammer? I can't imagine it. <laughs> they feel like it's a disadvantage or it is a psychological ploy, even if they figured that's what it was no not that it's a ploy just be, for them to call, all of a sudden come in not knowing you'd have the hammer and now you do i'd still be happy <laughs> i mean <laughs> uh, starting the game with hammer is always a good thing there's a reason why we throw those last shot draws before the game to see who gets it it's not because it's that's why we don't flip coins anymore that's what we used to do for for hammer in uh, in round robin games so I, I i guess we'll be done with it for now we could go on and on about it it's just a bizarre decision but uh as it is, rubber match from these two teams. Anderson winning the opener, which we had as our feature game in the round robin. And Peterson winning the page game. Seemed like they really had control start to finish in that one. The game we had, Joe, it really came down to the front end positions. Really seemed like Leah Yavaro and Lexi Lanigan controlled the action for the first four shots and kept things simple for the back end, and that's the recipe for success for Team Anderson. Play a simple game, don't overcomplicate things. Try and play maybe even end hammer late in the game. Good, don't get too I'm aggressive good. without hammer. Flip side for I'm Tab good. Peterson, take the action to your opponent. Don't let them keep it close I'm until good. late. We kind of saw Schuster do that a little bit against Casper yesterday where they 14, were three, a little three, conservative the first half. Turn on the Jets in the second half, showed why they are the number one team in the country. but. You don't need to shorten the game like that and give your opponent a chance to hang around. The tab does go in first, and I'd, I'd be pretty surprised if this didn't end up being just trading hits for the end now after that first one goes in. And we see this a lot in finals especially. But if I'm tab, if this does play out this way, I'm going to a center guard in the second end. I probably would have done it right from the start, to be honest. But play like you're the better team and like you expect to win. Just for those who are curious, in the opening game of this tournament, a 10-5 win by Team Anderson over Team Peterson. Anderson did have the hammer in that one, but they also had the hammer in the page playoff when Tabitha Peterson got the win. So second stone here from Leah Yavaro. Becca Hamilton there rolls out, so that may allow Anderson to go to a corner guard. Well, they are just going in, so very conservative start from Anderson. I think they are going to try to shorten this game. Starting the curl. Lee 
Guevara with the outturn draw. He's trying to throw right around the tee line, maybe a hair behind it. We did see in the early games yesterday with the sunlight coming in, the temperature was a little warmer in the arena. More fans, more, uh, more people in the mall, period, even if they weren't in this area. And the ice was a little sticky. It wasn't that it was slower, but you needed to get the rock out of your hand and a clean release more so than other points in the week. We'll see if that's the case for this early game today with, again, that sunlight coming through and more people in the building. So first stone here for Tara Peterson, and again, she'll just hit and stick. And how much of a difference, how much does it help? The page playoffs yesterday when we talked about the early games with the sun coming in, we had four sheets going. Now there's only the one. It doesn't really help or hurt. Generally, there's less heat out on the ice when you're the only game going, so the ice maintains better. You don't expect to lose ice very often okay. when you're in a semifinal or final and there are no other games going. These are usually some of the best conditions you'll get in the entire week. The only thing that might cause that not to be the case, again, would be the temperature in the facility from the amount of people and from the sunlight coming in. And the only reason sunlight's been a difference the last couple of days here is because it was cloudy and rainy the rest of the week. Yeah, of all the days to not have clouds and gloom in New Jersey when we actually want it, we do have a bright, beautiful day out. Not so beautiful that you wouldn't be inside listening to our sweet dulcet tones and watching this game anyways. And we we'll continue to trade hits here in this first Nine end. And figure out where things go from here. Lanigan rolls to the wing. A little different line for Peterson to play. After kind of getting the gift of the hammer for Sarah Anderson, are you a little surprised this conservative approach and why not kind of take advantage of the gift you've been given? I think this was their plan regardless of how it played out. They want to get comfortable with the ice in this championship final before they take any kind of chances. I'll be very curious to see if Peterson does go in again in the second end, if Anderson continues to trade and think, if you're going to let us shorten the game up, we're going to trade for as long as you want, or if they're going to go to the corner and try to attack with Hammer. First, they need to get through this end with the blank and make that blank attempt, too. So first stone for Taylor Anderson. Shooter rolled out on the last stone from Lexi Lanigan, excuse me, from uh, Tara Peterson. 14. Anderson getting a few free looks at draws as well. It's always nice as a player when you get a no pressure draw early in the game, just to get a little feel for it. We don't expect the speed to be much different than what we've seen the entire week. It hasn't fluctuated more than three or four tenths in either direction. Yeah, uh, Corey Tisi. Not only trying to win another national championship here, but paired with Corey Dropkin to win the World Mixed Doubles title. And both of those players obviously playing in today's finals. So their curling careers have really taken off over the last few years. It's fun watching games like this for myself uh, on both sides of the coin with Sarah and Taylor Anderson you know, having coached them a, a decade ago. And Lexi Lanigan, watching her grow up in the Duluth Curling Club, niece of my good friends, uh, Gary and Patty Luke. Sarah will have the exact same path she just saw Tab throw on. May try to roll this in either direction a little bit just to give Tab a different look. Clean. And the out turn oh. from Sarah Anderson. 
Hanging a little bit. Not sure if it's going to stick around or not. Okay. It will go That's off fine. the paint. So another free look for Tab. As we're trading these hits, we can give you some season stats for both of these teams. Tab squads played 61 games on tour this season. 36-25 record, three and two in extra ends, three and four in one point games. Scoring eight and a half points a game, allowing six and three quarters, somewhere in there. Hammer efficiency, 0 .42, very good there. Steel defense, 0.19, also very good. Force efficiency, 0.48, steel efficiency, 0.30. Good numbers across the board for Sarah Anderson. 48 games, 28 and 20 record, 0 and 1 in extra end games. Haven't seen too many extra end games. Two and three in one point games, averaging eight points a game, scoring about six and three quarters. Hammer efficiency, 0.38, very solid. Steel defense, 0.24, a little on the higher side, still not bad. Force efficiency, 0.49. Steel efficiency, 0.28. Very similar across the board for numbers for both of these teams. And here in this event, and again, another one that kind of scratches your head about giving up the hammer in the first end, Tabitha Peterson, a hammer efficiency of 57% to just 48% for Sarah Anderson. Yes. And last rock of this first Four. end. Four. Okay. Once again, they play the entire end for the blank. Not the first time we've seen Sarah hit that one on the nose this week. So they do take the single. Try to blank the end to end up with a point and Tabitha Peterson with the hammer when we come back. City's Orthopedics is ready to go with more doctors, specialty services, and convenient urgent care locations. Ready, set, TCO. Back at the Rankin American Dream, it is the final match in the Women's 2024 Curling Championship. And mistake from Sarah Anderson on the last rock of the first end by hitting it on the nose and actually taking a point when she was trying to blank the end. You have to rem remind yourself that you did score a point, so it's not a disastrous situation, but it's so frustrating as a skip to play that entire end out to blank and then one half miss at the end completely changes the complexion of yeah. the next end. Now Tab hitting a rock in the back of the forefoot to start the end. Both teams very conservative to start with. Tamar might see a delayed corner if they can roll to the side, but still a little surprised that Tab's not going yeah. after Sarah here. Start another hit parade here, but we'll see where they go from here. Head to head, they've played seven times. Tabitha Peterson, the advantage, four and three. Clean. Actually, take a look at it, it should be eight. Whoa. And five and three Whoa. is the list I have. Whoa. Tyler does not have the page playoff game on it. Good. It was won by Tabitha Good. Peterson. And they have some mixed doubles, I think, in there for well, what we're getting in our text, which right. I don't think we're counting for. A head to head with Sarah and, and Tab at least. And again, trading hits on this stone. I I don't know that I like this tactic for Tab. I know they're trying to ease into the yeah. game and they're going to attack 
at some point. But the more ends that they eliminate here, again, not saying who's playing better at this point, but just you have to feel that Tab assumes or believes they're the better team. It's easy taking those mixed doubles out. They were one and one on that. So we'll go to six meetings. Four and two, but Sarah Anderson did get one of those wins. The opening Nine. game of this tournament, 10-5. But this is the one that matters the most. Well, if we have two or three more ends like this, we're going to get in <laughs> some deep stats. <laughs> Pet names and favorite color. See, Childhood I, hero, all those things, and we'll just make them up because we don't have all those things. This way? Okay. See, if, if this had occurred last night, I would have had a reason to okay. mention that Ben Richardson plays yeah, the cello. Know. Yeah, <laughs> Ben's a very good cellist, too. <laughs> Two! Concert cellist. He's an incredible musician, actually. Mine's good. So Ben can thank the conservative start for these yeah. teams for the mention of his talents outside of the world of curling. They do go to a corner now after that rollout, but I would assume that Sarah will peel that anyways. And as much as it isn't particularly fun to call, I agree with the call. <laughs> There's no steel set up. You're not going to try to draw under that to get a force. You're not going to throw a center guard to try to force action. So this will just be execution here now for the rest of the end. Tap could have thrown a corner before they rolled out. Throwing this to a mid guard again, out turn side. Same shot for Peterson. I guess it's okay. It's trying to curl. 14, or five, five. five, four. Good throw, good, Tara. Good judge. Feel good. Good job, Tay. Midway through the end of the tactical start to this one. Intern Peel now for yep. Taylor Anderson. Clean, clean, clean. Tab hoping for a half miss, either a nose or a flash to be able to use these corners. Now going to the opposite side. Okay. And when you see that final stone from Sarah Anderson that does nose and you know she kind of forced herself there on a point. Maybe just a little fresh here. Do you does that stick in the back of your mind if you're Tab Peters and say, let me just put the guards out and see if we can take advantage of the mistake. Well, the, the player that will be making the peels won't be Sarah. Because that will come down it's to running. skip stones right. and then likely go in the house at that okay. point. So it's curling now. Is that in? They're not really taking into account that she knows okay. that. It's just a mistake that the judge. She, she won't have a similar shot in this end. She's just going to be trying to right. stick around on right. something that's thrown in. It's one of those where that's why I put it out there. Clean. Yep. Sometimes a mistake can yep. be the difference. Some stat patterns okay. for both teams. Okay. These simple shots. Um, May where do you want to come in? Be in tuning now? in and looking at numbers for the game and saying, boy, they're shooting high percentages. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty likely for the shots that they're playing at this point. But if again, if we're analyzing who this favors, goes back to Sarah Anderson. They play a simpler game in general. They Maybe don't junk Five things seven. up as much as a lot of teams. Kay. And a wide open game where it's just straight Eight execution. Foot. If you're the team that feels that you're the favorite really? and as Tab Peterson's team likely does as the defending champions, the the Olympic team, you know, it's it's their title to defend and to win. 
then at some point you have to go after it. And we are early. We've got eight ends left after this. But every end that gets shaved off, the same as we saw with the first five last night with Schuster and Casper, it favors the team that maybe feels like they're a little bit of an underdog. Down to Skip Stones now. And Sarah Anderson. Sarah very deliberate in the hack. Long pre-shot routine, really takes her time. Looking for nose again, again. Which this time oh, is yeah. a good thing. We really like to bank time as much as we could in these situations when we had them. Schuster would basically just go to the other end and let me put the broom down for it and <laughs> not even talk about it. He felt if he can't trust me to figure out where to put the broom nine games into a tournament on a wide open hit, then, then I probably don't deserve to be on the team. Now turn from Tabitha of the Peterson. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Becca. Nice. Hamilton turning it just to make sure they stick. Tab's fine with keeping these in the outside of the sheet. It's a shorter roll for the blank. So if Sarah is looking for maybe even a little bit of an advantage, then like to roll this to the center as close to middle as they can just to give Tab a longer roll. You just heard this before, we'll roll it. Final rock of the second for Sarah Anderson. And can she make it a little more difficult here for Tara, uh, Tabitha Peterson to blank the end? Right around yeah. nose now, oh, oh. looking to cross a little to roll towards the forefoot. Good throw, Sarah. Does just that. So a different line for Tab to play to. Yeah. Let's see if yeah. she can execute this blank attempt that Sarah Anderson could not in the first. Last rock, second end. And Tap Peterson yep. to try and blank the end, but yep. that's what Sarah Anderson was trying to Hard. do in the first. This one tight Hard. too. Yep. See if okay. the sweepers can hold it to roll out. No, this is going to be another. Nose hit, so ladies, all this work, <laughs> tactically speaking, to try to maintain a hammer, and we do that. Let's put some rocks in play if that's going to be the case. <laughs> so eight ends remaining, and in the Women's National Championship game, it is 1-1 between Peterson and Anderson. And Steve's Curling Supplies, America's number one curling equipment supplier for over 50 years, is proud to support USA Curling. No matter your skill level or budget, Steve's Curling Supplies have all of the top products from the most popular brands in the sport. And right now, you can save $10 on any purchase of $100 or more when you use the code USA Curling 10 at checkout. Visit stevescurling.com for all your curling needs. Back at the Rankin American Dream, we are down to an eight-in game. 
level at one after two. So Anderson the hammer here in the third. And Becca Hamilton. I'm good. Tab switching gears right now, calling to a center guard. Right to my broom. Swing your right, Corey. Tighter is better. Yep, come on. Both of and, you. And Joe, I, again, out. going yeah, back to the tactical start to the game. As the favorites, you don't really want your opponent to get comfortable in this game. Tab's been here many times, and it's not that Sarah, Taylor, Lexi, and Leah don't have championship level experience, represented the U.S. In major competitions, but you know, this, a game of this magnitude, Tab is the more experienced team being used to these situations. These first two ends have kind of let this team get comfortable now and they they you can hear them even on the mic saying yeah I was you know a little jittery at the start I feel okay now and I don't know why you'd nerves wanna, right there because yeah. that goes all the way through the house I don't know why you'd want to allow your opponent to do that yeah. well and also with you talk about you come out and think in your minds we're the favorites we're the reigning national champions and all that wouldn't that I like it. in a sense put you in a position where you think you can force the action and dictate the pace of play. Seven. Still You'd have to room. assume that Seven. They, it, it, you can go backwards with it and say that, well, we can out-execute whoever we play against because we're a better team. We don't need to do anything okay. crazy, but you still need to actually force the action a little bit. Right. And they waited until the third to do it as opposed to doing it early in the game. And, and again, that goes back to giving them hammer in the first end. Now you're letting them get comfortable because they don't have to defend in the first end of the game. They could just play that first end out clean like they did. Feels good, guys. If I'm Tab in that situation, we have our meeting before. I'm saying, all right, we're, we're taking a hammer, and we're going to go right to the corner. Or if they go to a center guard, we're going under it. But we're going to try to score on them early and not let them get comfortable. And now I think the game, is it's a different game with them putting rocks in play starting the third, after playing two ends in this championship atmosphere, the nerves calm, and if you were going to get a big early miss, it probably would yep. be when they were feeling a little more nervous about playing in this game. You wonder, too, if part of that change went, all right, we both tried to blank ends. It didn't work. Let's, let's get on I with get it. it. Five. Five. Might have to go a bit. I'm trying to see if we can do that right here. As Tara Peterson. Yeah, I don't think we can. Trying to get it there. Yeah. He needs to settle to not bump off on this line. Okay, okay. Does, but can definitely get to the inside. Looking for back eight, back twelve here, Lex. First stone of the third end for Lexi Lanigan. Getting tight to the guard here for Lanigan. They can get by. They have a good one. And it just slips oh, it by. Just sneaks by. Great sweep. It does over curl and chip open. look for Tara Peterson on this outturn side. They'll be trying to roll on top of that yellow. Ten. Maybe a little up. Back out, you gotta go. And Tara Peterson. Straight. Yep, yep, yep. Hi, Corey. Yep. Watch the roll. That's Take the one amount on the of roll. Oh, a little touch. Okay. Good. That's good, Tara. Over rolls just a hair, but that's a good angle. 
They don't have all of that red stone. It's a good spot for Peterson. Sarah Anderson want to, wanting to come out on an out turn here to, does she need to freeze against that yellow stone or just tuck it in there? They're trying to get as close to the yellow as they can. A little separation isn't a bad thing. Has to finish, need to get a piece behind the corner to, or behind the center. Pretty good throw. Of it, so I don't okay. really love the looks of that. If we can just stick like this, this in there, that's pretty if good. If it hangs, like you could hit them in yeah. together. Yeah. I like it. Okay, kind of wait. Try to keep our. So are we kind of doing just a hair high? Same little yeah, tap on so. that. Keep this one rolling. Top here. red rock and yeah. maybe nudge it into the pocket of those yellow stones. What kind of wait? Seems to be the plan. I like that ten. Okay. First stone of the third in for Corey Tisi. Just a short little run for TC. Also could have played the yellow, yellow, lose one and sit in front of it. They like the angle in on this one. Yeah, yeah she up. didn't think she could see enough of that top yeah, yellow stone. Yeah. Ah. Ah. turning ah. over. Over curls a hair, probably could have swept a little more, but I wanted to keep the shooter around too. Now the angle's not playing too badly for Anderson. If they can make this double and roll, they'll be undercover. Only a 9-5, not overthrowing it. And they make contact with that rock in the back of the eight foot on the center line too. We'll see where they go. Little up here, you heard nine. And hanging too. Yeah. It's not the side of the stone you want to be it's on. It's not, and the shooter does not stick around. So big opportunity now for, that one. for Peterson. I'm saying they don't have a ton, you but like with board? the separation between the, yeah, like board. Yeah. the guard board and the stone in the house. All Can spread out. Four foot is open, so. Still not a lot of danger for Anderson. Had that hit on the nose, then it would be a little more pressing. Hit and roll attempt from yes. Taylor Anderson. Trying to hold the lines, curling a lot. And that will get past the center guard, but tucks nicely behind that stone in the eight. That rolls to an interesting spot. The run back for Peterson plays into a jam, and they can only see maybe a third or a little more of that yellow stone. So fortunate roll there for Anderson. The plus side for Anderson is if Peterson is able to pick this out, they can still draw underneath the center guard and play for a skip's deuce. Any chance here for Tab Peterson, a little tap on that yellow and roll into the middle? Well, they're just peeling it out. 
They're, okay, nice. they're not playing soft. Like one up, I didn't know. It's too precise. Okay. Easy, easy kill. They just want to kill, and this, there's more margin for error with this play. And staying really doesn't help them that much anyways with three rocks already in. So just playing the simplest shot to clear this yellow. This might be fresh. Tara Peterson Hard! trying to get it to curl. Just enough. Looks like it stays on yeah, the paint. That's a biter. I don't know that it really matters. The only way you make that one come into play is by hitting one of those two, and then awfully tough to, to bury the hit and roll. A lot easier just to draw. So Sarah wisely ignoring the hit and playing the draw underneath. We've seen this path a few times. They should feel comfortable with how it runs. You're kind after what we saw in the first and second end, just to say a few times. Well, they, <laughs> but they didn't see it in the first or second end. They saw it this end because they were playing hits before. This is a draw, so it is okay. only from this end. So that's more because of the weight. Weight should be very close. They were saying maybe even 14 fives. So this track has been quick. Okay. And that over curls comes out in the open a little bit. So it'd right. be a good look at it for yeah, Tab. So we'd like to see that yeah, sit like that 11? I think I like yeah. a hair higher. Okay. Yeah, that could be good. And we saw board weight just a little bit earlier on the same track. Didn't take a big turn, just a nice gradual right, one. Like, uh, 11. Four. Yeah, sure. They'd love to get a little roll in if they can, but I think they're going to play this a little more conservative and just make sure the kill first and make Anderson throw against three. So final stone of this oh. third for yes. Tab Peterson. Yes! Oh! Oh, clean it. Still plenty Whoa. of line. Becca. Becca. Yep. Tab broke yep, out yep, her yep, growl for that one. Hadn't heard that yet oh, today. Oh, oh, nice hit. Rolls to a good spot. So it'll be the same draw for Sarah. Nothing different. After each team inadvertently took a point in the first and second ends, trying to blank. This time, Sarah Anderson being forced to draw for one. Always good to play the exact same shot you just played, too. In turn draw to take a point and move to the fourth with a 2-1 advantage. Hasn't started turning yet. Line's fine. Sweepers like the weight. 13-9, this little more, this needs to stop. DC may have a chance. Uh, settles in the slide path for one. Just soon enough. So Anderson a point in the first and the third, one for Peterson in the second, but takes the hammer into the fourth, down by a point. And Warm Room Hero is the intuitive curling club software that takes the stress out of schedules, registrations, and more. Warm Room Hero, a platform built for curlers by curlers. Check out Warm Room Hero at curling.club today. That's Warm Room Hero at curling.club.
And starting the fourth end, Leah Yavaro. And Sarah Anderson opts for the center guard. Good, Leah. Wait. So Anderson looking to mix things up a little bit now, too. Going to the center with the one point lead in the fourth. Becca Hamilton playing the out turn. Come around, draw. Okay, wait on the Trying to get to the top of the forefoot. Take that all important position above the T line. Something I'll be saying a lot in a couple of weeks, Joe, at the Mixed Doubles National Championships as draws and bumps to the forefoot area are probably about 75% of the shots conservatively that you see in that game. And Corey TC will be there with Corey Dropkin. Make it top four. Line's good. There's championships Line's coming up good. in Traverse City, Michigan. Really looking forward to going back to Traverse City. Had an event there in the past, beautiful Close area. John Landsteiner is pretty much the mayor of that city Line's after being in the, the parade. And Grand Marshal even. I, I'm not <laughs> sure if that's <laughs> confirmed, but I'm sure he'll tell me. But uh, he's a big deal in Traverse City. We mentioned Ben Richardson before. He'll be partnered with Taylor Anderson. Ten. And Becca Ten. Hamilton and her brother yep. Matt. Yep. 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 So a lot yep. of the curlers you've seen here this yep. week have a chance to yep. see at the Mixed Doubles Championship. You always want Becca and Matt mic'd up. <laughs> for those, for the sibling okay. conversations. That's a lot of fun to listen to. And you get a brand new facility to go into and like play yeah. this Haven't seen it yet in person, really looking forward to that. Wonderful people at Traverse City worked so hard to get that facility up and running. State of the art curling facility. Very likely will be hosting many national championship events in the future. Maybe even get a grand slam down there at some point. So Lexi Lanigan. And this hanging a little on yeah. Lex. Okay. Good. Just enough to clear it out, but Peterson now okay. can take advantage and throw okay, open. Don't need to go under yeah, the guard like again and stack those rocks up so that the run could clear That's both. Nice. I think a 14 so you want this full eights behind the T line yeah. open. 14-2, I think. Mm -hmm. Need T or better, yeah. Tara Peterson with her first here in the nice. fourth end. I think it's okay though. I keep the breath down. Seven. I think it's good. It's running. Wait only. Take a look. Take a look. Intern draw for Tara. Three eight. Three eight. Should be good. Everything looks to be fine Thanks there too. Tara. Settling in just behind the T line. Good spot. This, this setup, sometimes you see teams intentionally throw it deeper than their number one counter, hoping for a nose hit from your opponent, and then you play the freeze back and try to set up a three-point end. As long as your, sh your number one counter is the one that's undercover. This does roll in. Now it's a little tougher path. Had that hit on the nose, I think Tab might have considered it. With the path that it's on now, it's kind of a tough one to get to for a freeze, and it's full in the eight foot. So I agree with trading hits now until maybe you get it back out in the 12 foot, and then you can consider possibly playing that freeze again for a, yep. a three point Where? end. 10. Yep. Tara Peterson. With this out turn it. hit, and this may be in the nose, and it sticks. Those rocks moving up higher in the house now, so a roll for Anderson would be shot rock in the back of the forefoot. Ten, ten, five. Close. Ten, three. 
We saw a lot yesterday in the early games where they just couldn't get the rolls to hold. Yeah, this is really curling. Need to go for a piece. I think that's chip just enough out, but the rollout will allow a free look again for, for Tab to go back to that same quadrant. The back eights, back 12 area. Seven stones remaining. And the first of those will be delivered by Corey Teasing. Sweepers not wanting to go not yet really on this. The curl yet. Whoa, no. It's just now starting to turn, so the weight is all there. It's going to be close in the back. They just need a biter, and it's still good. Okay. It goes all the way through, so big miss there from TC. This will allow Anderson to play to the middle. A little surprised they're not playing the run. It's not a very long one. There's not a lot of area to draw to, and I think this is a bit of a mistake here. Tough to get this in a spot where you're completely buried, where your opponent can't dig it out. Uh, Taylor Anderson will try to do that. This has got a lot of room right now, too. It's nowhere near the rock in the, the eighth foot they're trying to go around, and it's a three. Meaning it's short. Straight, straight. Where is it? They won't leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it. That's going to be short of the rings, so. Okay. Yeah, just a, I mean, the execution obviously not there, but a questionable Taking call, too. Yeah, I think so, too. You're up by a point. Your worst case scenario if you play the run is you clear it open. They're showing you. Could give up a two, fine. but you get a couple okay. cracks at a double okay, to get out of the end, anyways. Yeah. Just to. They're going to be out in the weeds with the I think that just lines up. Putting themselves the in trouble better. again now. TC playing the outer and come around, trying to maybe bite the forefoot somewhere in there. Just don't want to leave a pocket for them to run back to. So they want to stagger these stones. Previous stone from Corey TC had too much on it, went all the way through the house. Mine's good. Mine's good, Carol. Mine's good. Mine's good. Where is it? Mine's good. Take a look. Uh, it's back as rock. Mine's good. Back as rock. Whoa, careful. They like the line all the way down. Just want it to stop above the T line. Okay, That's well done. Good, Good shot. I mean, do you have like this or it's that? I'm seeing the draw. You seeing this? Yeah. You seeing this? That's what I'm. What are you? What is your gut? Ooh. Oh, it's this. Okay, we can play that too. You have lots of room over there. But I mean, okay, we do. This. See our newest mixed doubles <laughs> team here. The. <laughs> Famous sheep, been all around the ice this week. There's a store here in the mall that sells these things, and I believe in the chats for these broadcasts, talking about where to get them online. Been asked by many people to try to take one and get it in the overhead compartment to take home, but these things are way too big for that, just so you know. Got a lot of time as an ice crew to do some weird things around the sheet. <laughs> Joel Deeds here in the booth says the lack of sleep probably figures in for them too. Well, and this particular location gives them a much more diverse area to pull crazy ideas from. There's a lot of things in this mall they could mess around with, but the sheep have kind of taken control. So aggressive play here from Anderson, playing the, the in-turn draw with Peterson sitting two under cover twice okay. now. Run back probably Stay is close. the yep. safer, yep. correct shot, but Sarah's yep. going all yep. or nothing yep. to try to get out of trouble. Where? Great line. 
Agassi gets that <laughs> maybe a little early on the sweep. With it getting to the tee line, got a few licks in before it got there, but doesn't make a huge difference. Second count, such a tough draw to make, such a small area to throw to. Need to make sure we get by that one. And now Peterson will follow and probably try to leave this top four. Had a 14-3 on hers. Okay. Just don't want to go all the way back to that yellow and leave the freeze back for Anderson. So first off for Tara Peterson and. I don't know if I'd say your observation, your frustration on some of these is they consider I could have this shot or that yeah, shot, but don't always seem to take the next step under. of what and if then, yes, above line. and then go to the safer, safer choice sometimes. We might need to be full forward. They're just <laughs> thinking think they're if we pass. make this, okay. we could get out of it as opposed to yeah. you know, thinking make, okay. not make, what are the consequences? What's the score is the biggest thing. You're up by a point. Don't be afraid to give up a two. Mine's nice. Wait only. Full four Whoa. girls. The big shot oh, from Tab. Wait only right now. Mine's good. Wait only. Wait only. Top four it's would be ideal. Open. Got to curl, girls. It's got to curl. They got to get it over. It? It's hanging out there. Four seven. The line's gotta coming up now. Up. Line's good. There. They just need to Hard get there. One. Just short of count, but in a good spot nonetheless, because there's a short run for four with that stone. What is your, what do you have to think of like? Maybe a little hit? I mean, you could also play down just have that for two, though. I mean, two's acceptable. But also, like, Corner freeze this. No. Well, if we get up out of this, just freeze right here. Okay. You think that's or easier than playing this? I mean, really, either shots other. for two. Or we could. We could play, the, play that if you're heavy, if you come down two. I know, she has a shot for three either way. Or we try to hit this instead right here, she rips the double. Um, this freeze corner, I mean, that's for two. Yeah, I think this is the play. Okay. So, so we had here last time. We killed it there. We're, we're in middle, right? So yeah, freeze in the pocket uh, may be the best shot. No, no, no. I think, I think That'll make, takes away okay. possibly both of those runs. Right With the open red, that's the one you're most afraid of because that's the, sh the open shot for four. Yeah. As long as it doesn't yeah. freeze to where it loads it up so that it drags back to that stone by hitting the outside. So you almost want to even like tap that just a touch, not enough to put it into count, move it a couple inches, get a corner behind the one on the yeah. center line yeah. too but don't create the drag effect. So maybe like a top four type of weight, bump that stone on the inside like two, three inches. Final stone from Sarah Anderson. Okay, make it a no trying to prevent no Tab Peterson three. from a big end. Three, yep. Starting to Last curl, you cannot over curl on this coming. shot. Gotta be yep. careful. If they keep going on this line, they could open up the shot for four. That's really close. Yeah, I don't think we can, yeah, I don't think so either. Well, if that goes another six inches, there's a soft weight hit for four, with the red to yellow. They're still looking at it. How much does she have? At the least, you have a tap for two. play with just like, I think you got to have a go at it. Pass? You already have a point. You're, you don't have much risk in this. And he basically said if they miss it, they take two anyway. Two Maybe, there. depending on the and weight we, they play. Yeah, right. Yeah. I think you throw this Say with, like, like back yeah, back yeah, back line weight. Like sweep if you have the right line to finish. If you get close to that yellow, it is there. Maybe just a pinch line? 
probably four. If it's hanging, you still chip it in for two. I don't think there's any risk at all in playing back line weight with this shot. So I like the call here from Tab. Exactly that. If it, if it doesn't catch the right spot on the rock, if, if it's thinner, you hit less of it than it still is for two. If it's but if the line's fast, right, then we could just kind of hit it thin. You know what I mean? But could be for four. Last rock, fourth end, and this oh, could be a big turning point. Oh in this final match to decide who is the 2024 yes. national champion. Yes. 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 As Tab yes. Peterson, yes. can she pull this yes. off for a possible yes. four? Need to turn it now. Where is it? Sit, that works, Tab. And does get two. Little conservative with the, the line call. Didn't get very close to that rock. So it was there for four if they get tighter to that guard, but still a two point end and they take the lead. So two for Peterson and a 3-2 advantage as we get ready for the fifth end. Back at the Rankin American Dream, start of the fifth end. And Becca Hamilton, first stone out for Team Peterson. Picked up two in the fourth. Could have been a much bigger end, though. Yeah, Anderson played with fire with the drawing multiple times when the run puts them at a two at worst scenario. They do end up giving up a two, but again, with all those in, could have been three, could have been four. Probably happy to get out of that only giving up two. Line's good, always Tay drop. Come on, Tay. Leah Yavaro. Yep. They're really sweeping this to good. Good sweep. get it across the hog line and into a high corner guard. Yeah, tough to use them when they're that high unless you put another guard underneath it. But Tab's probably going to try to come or in the top of the forefoot, give them something they have to deal with in the center, and try to keep them away from whoa, the edges. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's only the third stone of the end. Is that high guard quite yet in your nuisance uh, the category? There. They're always a <laughs> nuisance. It's blocking off the draw path a little bit. Makes you have to play softer weights with hits, but burying behind it effectively is difficult. This one's deep now, too. Yeah. Back of the 12, so not a concern for Anderson. That will allow them to throw that second corner. And the out turn for Leah Yavaro. Getting a little tight to the other guard, but should be by. Keep it going. Now trying to separate him a little bit. That's a good pair from Leah. Definitely can use both of those now. Top four. Oh. 
And out of Tara Peterson. Another attempt at come around. This time from Tara. Looking for top four foot. Top eight. Perfect line. Don't really need to finish too much now. Really good, Perfectly Tara. done by Tara. That's dead behind that center guard. And full, full four foot. Sarah calling for a back house weight, trying to chip that open and roll towards the corners and said if we chip the guard, that's fine too. So now Alexa Lanigan taking an oh. early turn on a tighter oh. track. Roll it, big roll, it's big gonna roll. tick the guard, big but we'll split it open. Go, 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 go. Nothing wrong with that. Nice. It's a good yes. call by Anderson to play Hard that again. either or type of shot where Same you're way. giving the tolerance on the tight side. Yeah, side yeah. Split things open. Now it's all corners, even though there's a rock in the top of the forefoot, right. you're making them replace the, the guard. Way, And the out turn okay, let it work. for Wait, Tara Peterson Back goes rock. Uh, to try and replace the two. guard that was just Not tapped team away just halfway. Okay, by straight. Team Anderson. Stay close, Mike. Yep, straight. Yep, Trying control, to get it to control, finish. Yeah. It's going to be pretty high. Whoa, whoa. Yep, 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 yep. They yep, want to yep, take yep, away yep. the side where they could chip and roll under the corners. Like the same thing. The same just type of shot again. A little more room with where that guard ended up. Did cross enough that covered the right side of the stone. And see what Lexi Lanikin can do with her second shot here in the fifth. This is on a good path here. Really nice shot. This is going to roll go, under the go, corner, go, 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 go. too. Yeah, gets a pretty good piece on a great shot from Lanigan. Guard needed to be a little tighter to not give that shot. That's really well thrown yeah, by Lexi. Good call work. by Sarah. Yeah. That Are turns the end around a little bit. Back. Yeah, I think forward like that 11. Okay. If it catches a hair thinner, it's completely under the guard. So there is a look through the port still for TC try to hit and roll middle. Clean. Close Corey TC out whoa. turn whoa, 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 whoa. Back up. Back up. for a possible hit and roll. Accomplishes the main goal, rolls away from the corners too, which is good. Good shot from TC, nice touch. A lot tougher for Anderson to use the corners now. Or nine five? I feel like they're still going to chase with a hit. You could play the intern draw underneath the center. Looks they're going to hit first. and roll. Yep. Yep. Yes. Hard. Hard. Line 
Lanigan's fairly close here again. Not as much weight as Lanigan had. And, and does wreck the guard. Small port on that side, but. Getting a little hairy here for Anderson. There aren't a lot of good paths in. And there's gonna be less after this shot too. I mean, we're down to Skip Stone, so really what does Sarah Anderson have available to try and get something out of this? So thinking just like T-line weight? Yeah. That port on the intern side is the one that they're no trying to take away. Good, right? yeah. okay. If you can leave this, even a third like covering that? up that yellow stone, okay. it looks like they're yeah. playing in. They're coming in and attacking. They're actually tapping as opposed to guarding. Yeah. So getting aggressive. You want this to get at least a nose. You like the call? Yeah, if you make it, you're in really good shape. They, it was an option of guarding just because it's going to be tough to get in there any other way. But you make this tap, you're really Stay putting pressure on Anderson. Stay close, Becca. Yep. And Tab Peterson Whoa. Whoa. Yep. 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 with the intern. Need to go line, for weight. Hard, line. Get it through Hard, the port. Go, go, go. Line's really good. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Anything on that, anything on that. Okay. And that's a pretty good spot. Okay, I just need to do this. There's no real hit opportunity through the hole. So you probably do need to play the slash that they're looking at to at least open it up and maybe double those off. Hit that pretty thin. This. Okay. And then maybe it'll roll this way. Okay. Or it's the red. Slash or red over the top. Yeah, they're playing the red back, so the reasoning was they want to have that yellow on their last if they need it. Problem with playing this one is you're playing red to red and you have to hit close to nose to make it, so there's a good chance that your shooter still stays on this line. You're not opening anything up. If you do hit it wide enough to open it up, you're missing all the reds probably. So a little more risk playing this. I think I like that yellow one. So Sarah Anderson off the hack for people who heard it in your career, she said an inch to the negative. Comes back, okay. clears one. Okay. Yeah, you see the shooter stays right there, and there's two uh, two draw pads now. But you can kind of take both away by throwing it to the top of the house, underneath that yellow guard, right where they're looking. Right. There's holes on both sides, technically. So do you want to just try and be like? Yeah, you. But you can take away both draws by coming in yourself. Then even if she hits it, that one still stops. I don't yeah. even think we need to be that deep. I mean, I guess, what I does think, she have a tap? Well, on? if you're up here, I think she still makes this draw. So I think you want to be like. So maybe we want to over curl it. Yeah, TC yeah. has this well yeah. thought out. Where can we, we put, put this rock that it takes both draws away? I think, I think eight's fine. I think just, I think yeah. this is You want to force Anderson into playing that yellow stone that they opted not to play on the previous one. Ahead. Okay. Back to your adage nice. of yeah. the best guard is the stone in the house. Yeah, it's <laughs> and, and this time it's more because it's blocking off two pads than it is that you're afraid of giving up more than one point. Right. Yeah, because we want to be that same But, path. yeah, they can get this into the eight foot sure. touching the center line. There is no draw path for Anderson.
Tab Peterson. Her last rock here in the fifth end. Mine's nice. Out turn trying to draw it through a port. Get a little room right now. Stay close, and Tara. really make it difficult for Sarah Anderson Mine's with her oh, Tara, whoa. hammer throw. Easy. They Where can get you? this to the eights, no it's deeper. Curl. It's got to go. It needs to guard. come up, too. Yep, curl it, Could curl get a little chip it. off this and roll whoa, in. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now still the intern path for Anderson. So didn't wait was right where they wanted to be, but just out wide. Anderson does have an intern draw. Boy, they're looking at playing off the side one. I'm not sure why they don't like the, the intern draw. If you've got to roll and out count five stones by hitting the number six counter. <laughs> Probably equally as okay, hard. I applaud the number five counter, I think. <laughs> I, I, it's a small port, but the draw is definitely there. Okay, so we want to hit half a rock. I'm seeing like a nine five. So every foot you roll basically out counts another red stone. <laughs> Coming off of this, this is a, who boy. Yep. You got it. Basically a nose hit and you give up five. So you have a lot of house to roll to, but this is interesting like decision. <laughs> Do you like the draw? <laughs> yes, is, is, is Tyler's answer. <laughs> I mean, you can tap, too, on the that yellow that they were looking at earlier. But they are going to play the hit and roll off this winger against the game, in essence. Last rock, fifth end, critical moment here for Sarah Anderson. And there is little margin for error on this shot. Lines close. They're on the inside for sure. Have to sweep the hold. It really curling. Ends up thin. Goes over the top. Still going. How many is it going to be? That might be four. That top stone is out counting the back. It looks like a minimum of three and probably four. Boy, playing a track you're not sure about. Just a, that's an interesting decision. Tough result for, for Team Anderson. They're behind the eight ball now. So a huge end and a huge steal for Tab Peterson to take control of this championship match at the USA Curling Women's National Championships. And time for the mid-game break brought to you by Broom Fitters, where you'll find a full selection of curling brooms, shoes, and equipment, along with unique curling apparel, gifts, and more. And for a limited time, take 10% off your first order with code USA at broomfitters.com for good curling gear. Back at the Rankin American Dream in East Rutherford, New Jersey, and after five ends, a steal of four in the fifth by Tab Peterson, and she has taken control of this championship match seven to two. Joe Tolleson and joined now by Dean Gemmel, CEO of USA Curling. And Dean, uh, I know from conversations you and I had, um, 
some trepidation about the venue this week, but it seems it's been a good time had by all. Yeah, I think in the end, Joe, it was worth the risk. We've certainly introduced our, our sport to a number of new fans. We're having some fun here now. We're going to have some bike, some studded tire bike races on a sheet we won't use again. <laughs> um, but, yeah, full credit to uh, so many people involved here. Our, our head ice tech, Sean Olson, I, I threw no shortage of challenges at him, uh, and he's done a terrific job with his crew, Frank Mogavera, Lauren Rich, and all the others. Um, and including the guys here at Curling Stadium had no shortage of challenges either. So uh, I'm going to be distracted by these bike races, though, Joe. But, yeah, I think, you know, the I big... I would have loved to have seen the little animals that they have running yes. around the mall here to try that on the ice. The, bi the big reason to bring it here was just to expose it to different a different audience. Um, and I think we've done that. We've got a... Uh, we've had good partners here at American Dream to work with. And, uh, yeah, uh, not without its challenges, but we're pretty happy. And throughout the week, you know, it's a, a unique situation here because if you have it at a, tr a traditional facility, an arena, a curling club, you have to make that effort to go to the event. And here you've definitely had a lot of people just stumble across and go, hey, what's this? This looks pretty cool. Yeah, 100%. That was a big reason why we were here. Just, you know, if we, even if we have, no matter what arena we're in, no matter what city we're in, we've got to get people into that arena. And uh, now this was a ticketed event, but there's obviously also places where you can just see it. So uh, all that worked in our favor, and we're pretty happy with it. And so then what can you do for USA Curling to build off of this? As, you know, you, you talked earlier in the week. They're, you know, they're trying to build a curling club in Brooklyn. You've been working on years trying to uh, partner on a facility in the Bronx. What do you think this event does down the road to, to grow the game in this in the New York metropolitan area? Well, yeah, I think it's going to give a boost to all the, you know, all the member clubs that are in the area, uh, New Jersey, New York, uh, Brooklyn, uh, Westchester, I mean, Westchester and Brooklyn. So that's real positive for the growth of the game here on the East Coast. So we're happy about that. Um, and then we're also now going to have a bit of a track record doing this kind of event versus, you know, um, expectations might be different uh, going forward, and, and we can show a fun event. I mean, look, one of the reasons we have people riding bikes on the ice is to make improve the fan experience here a bit. And, you know, another part of this is just this webcast. Um, you know, we are – I couldn't be happier with the guys at Curling Stadium. We – John Benton and – and who else? John Joel Dietz. John, Joel Dietz, uh, everybody else. And then, um, you know, we, uh, I, like I said, no shortage of challenges all around. And, and I think John has continued to improve the, improve the product every year. And I, I think, I hope curlers around the community, in the curling community, enjoy it. Um, you know, I, I see more improvements this year. I think it's worth noting, Joe, I'll do this. I'll put my CEO hat on for a second here and tell you that, you know, this isn't free, right? I mean, this is a, this is a relatively large expense in our budget to produce this and, and show curlers around the country this kind of coverage. Um, and, and I hope people are, appreciate it and, uh, you know, feel good about the organization as a result and, um, you know, maybe even uh, throw us a few dollars as a result. But uh, i got to make the pitch for money all well, the time, Joe. Well, sure, but, but having said that, it is the New York metropolitan area. You, you know, most of the major companies in this country have a presence in this area and to have an opportunity to potentially kind of court some sponsors and say, hey, come out, give a look, see what we're doing, get a little more hands-on in yeah. the experience. Yeah, and that's definitely happened this week. We always, we put in four sheets. We use, we have eight teams, so we keep one, or we put in five sheets. I mean, we use four for the championship. We keep one for just that kind of thing, introducing potential sponsors, et cetera, to the game. Um, so that's, you know, obviously, yeah, this is the biggest market in the country, really, certainly the biggest media market. The other thing we got this week was a, you know, a lot of good coverage in New York media, uh, and that's that's a lot of eyeballs on our sports. So we're happy about we're that as well. All right. So, <laughs> where from here? I mean, up I'm next into the month, Traverse City, and you know, yeah. you talk about a growth situation where they've been able to build a brand new club. Yeah, Traverse City, Michigan. We'll have our mixed doubles before that. I'll be out at the men's seniors in Mapleton, Minnesota, um, and and the women's seniors, uh, senior nationals are in uh, just outside of Indianapolis at a new club there. So. We have lots of good uh, clubs doing great things. Uh, you know, our member club community, there's, they're, they're open to new ideas, and I'm really excited to work with them. Traverse City is a great example. Brand new club last year. Um, put a lot of work into getting that, that built as we watch Rebecca play an open hit here. But a lot of uh, work uh, getting that ready, and, and I think it's going to be a great venue for our Mixed Doubles Nationals. Um, and I would encourage anybody to make a trip to Traverse City, even though it's usually you go there and... July, July or August, go there in February. It's uh, the hotel rates will be cheaper. So yeah. <laughs>
and you like the growth opportunity of the game here, and we can talk about that a little bit later this afternoon because we'll catch up with you again during the men's Absolutely, final. Joe. Let's do that again. Thanks for all, all right. your work this week, and thanks to Curling Stadium. I'll give it back to Tyler. All right, thank you. Dean Gemmel, CEO of USA Curling. As we get Leah Yavaro with her second stone. And an uphill climb here for Sarah Anderson. Gave up the two in the fourth, but then a steal of four in the fifth. You hear the word steal of four, and you didn't score it. Six. It's pretty dire circumstances in a game of this magnitude. But they, that kind of went back to you know, Sarah originally on, called that Thanks. slash on her first on that yellow guard, which if you make it, removes two stones, but more importantly, opens up that draw path. Instead playing the red guard where you have to leave the shooter in that area to make anything decent. Even if she doubled those two off with that shot, the draw paths would have been tough, and you're probably still looking at three on your last. So you, you needed to move that yellow off the intern draw path. Maybe you make the run, maybe you don't, but you're gonna have a draw on your last shot no matter what if you move that guard. She didn't like the path she had in on that intern side or the tap enough to play it. Ended up having to roll off of a rock in a line you don't really know very much about. Or how much it's going to curl, if it's going to be a little frosty out there. Even though you have a long ways or a big area you can roll to, it's, it's kind of a guess on the, the throw anyways. But credit to Team Peterson for putting Anderson yep. in that position and having to make a shot against an armada of red stones. Now... Tara Peterson yep. with her second stone of this end. Well, and the other thing it does is you know, you've talked all week about the variables that can occur as that gets hit away is she, she had said she wanted to save the yellow stone in case for the second shot, but because what her shot was and then what Peterson was able to do, she couldn't even use that yellow stone that she was kind of holding out as insurance. And, and she technically still could. It, you could right. tap that stone if you wanted to. If you didn't like the draw, the tap is still probably a better shot than rolling off of that winger because you know the line. But it, it really just have to map out, okay, what will we have? Worst case, if we play this shot, what do we want to leave ourselves on the last? And moving that yellow stone was the only option really to make sure you had something straightforward for your last. Okay. Little tap there to leave that top of the four. And they're trying to make a pocket with yep. those two. We wanted to move that rock next to the other red in the back of the four foot, but plenty of room on this stagger. So TC playing the slash double. Clean. Easy, easy. Whoa, oh, no. Back up. Hard it's close. Back up. Needs to get up just a little Hard. bit. Had a girl. There it is. Great shot by TC. We talked before this game, Joe, about where we thought the biggest factor was for Tab to get out front and take control was, was at the third position with Corey Teese. Such a weapon when she's on. She's as good as anybody in the game. It's been kind of up and down this week for Corey. Tends to be at her best in these types of games. She has been sharp today. And that's just such a nice security blanket. <laughs> as a skip, knowing that you have somebody in front of you in the big games that will play yep, yep. like we're seeing Corey T.C. play Hard. today. Hard. And Hard. now, right to it. Clean. Clean. Yep. Taylor yep. Anderson. Yep. That's, okay. That's a better shot there. Well, Same thing. Okay. Maybe a Off. little thin. Yeah. It's very That's thin fine. to get it over okay. the top. That's why the stagger is better now. And Corey TC again, and you talked about how good she could be. She was all-star third at the Women's yeah. World Championships whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. just last Clean. year. Deservedly Clean. so. Clean. She was fantastic. Got a girl. Great shot by TC. Thin over the top, just coming out of her hand so pure right now. 
And kudos to the ice crew as well. I don't think we've really seen any issues with getting a little soft as we saw during the day yesterday with the, the sunlight coming in and the slightly warmer atmosphere. This is as good as we've seen the ice run all week as, as far as we can tell from here. Taylor Anderson's Hard. final rock of this sixth end. Good. Good Pretty good for Tay. Looks yeah. like there may be a gap between the two that Tab can slash this yeah. through. Maybe a third of a stone, thick or thin half. Kind of want to clip the back one. Probably misses the back. You heard Tab say they kind of want to move the back one and not leave that pocket there. So if they get a little bonus, and tick that red stone yeah. that's behind the yellow on the same side of the center line as TC. Maybe half a rock somewhere in there. And in turn here from Tab Peterson to see if she can clear this up a little bit. Good. I like that. That's what they were looking for. Good shot from Tab. No pocket now to draw to. Just one single stone. Well, and Tab Peterson can be so defensive right now because if they can force on the ends where Sarah Anderson has the hammer, they're still up by two. <laughs> So that four in the fifth, okay. just massive. And now Sarah Anderson. They try and see what they can do at some point to get back into this with half the game remaining. Sarah playing the out turn freeze. Trying to lock right onto the nose. Tab still will have a chance to remove it, but trying to make it as difficult as possible. Yep, three. Keep coming. Needs okay, to go for speed. Yep, as far as it'll go. Okay, 13. Stop short, so plenty of room okay. for Peterson. I, I don't think she's going to yep. take much chance with sticking around. And just going to throw peel. You have another rock in the house, so you have your force set up already. You don't need to stick around. So playing the safe shot, peel, anywhere on the outside. Yeah. The situation Sarah Anderson's in, they need to do the best they can and hope for a mistake by Tabitha Peterson. Well, we have the opposite right here with that stone by Anderson left in the eight. And final rock of the sixth end for Tabitha Peterson. Yep. To just hit that away. Yep. Happy to force. Well, clean it. Looks to be no issue for Tab. Well on the outside of the stone. Removes the yellow. So Anderson will be forced to a single if she can hit and stick. Sarah Anderson, last rock of the sixth end. And needing to pick up the one here, but we'll still trail by four with Peterson taking the hammer into the seventh. Just cleaning down to the nose of this stone. We'll secure the single. One for Anderson, but trailing seven to three with the sixth in coming up next.
Twin Cities Orthopedics is ready to go with more doctors, specialty services, and convenient urgent care locations. Ready, set, TCO. Back at the Rankin American Dream. Man, Leah Yavaro. First stone of the seventh end. And after the steal of four in the fifth by Peterson, well, Sarah Anderson needs to come up with a steal or two of her own the, down the stretch of this game. It's all or nothing for Team Anderson now. Force doesn't really do much of anything. You're playing steal or nothing else. Becca Hamilton watching as this comes in. Gotta come oh, all the way. Yeah, it's, I think we gotta just bring it back. Don't really need to bury. Just like to be somewhere around yeah, fours, but it's gonna be deep, so they're taking it to back eights and not leaving it back four. It's a little overthrow there. For another guard now for Team Anderson. Okay. Trying to get to a three. Line's okay. Three. Curl now, curl now. Oh, not in though. Nice line here from Yervaro. That's well done. Good shot. Becca Hamilton with her second. Important for Becca to keep this one above the tee. Like to get the top four and take that scoring position away from Anderson so they at least have to move that rock. Go if you need to. Doesn't look like heavy's gonna be an issue this time. He's gotta go. Yep, you're right. Trying to carry this, don't wanna leave it short and give him another guard. Top 12 is not a great spot in this situation, so another one for them to go around. This is the kind of setup that brings a steal into play, a rock for backing in the back of the house, two guards above the house, and a rock in the top of the 12s that can be used as a guard as well. Okay. Can Lexi Lanigan help Sarah Anderson get to a point where they can pull off the steal? Plenty of lines still, needs to finish. Pearl, yep. Yep, go Leah, go Leah, go Leah. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Gets to back four. Okay. Partially buried. Okay. Yeah. Time for Tab to start moving this. some granite up front. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's make it, Sarah. Probably pretty close to where she's grooming. Tara would really like to move both of these yellow guards. You're not concerned about the one in the top 12s. Actually moving that one too is a good thing. Needs to get up to make contact with the second yellow. Just gets the one, but peel still made for Tara. And for Lexi Lanigan for Sarah Anderson. Taylor, Need can. to bring this around. Trying to get to Hard. a point to steal. Clean. Clean. Getting a little Clean. tight to the guard, but still by. Perfect line. Should settle into the top of the forefoot. Really nicely done by Lexi Lanigan. She's played well today, too. Just haven't been able to put complete ends together as a team Just a hair high. since the first couple. Just double these off. Oh, she's definitely do that. Yeah, I don't think I like that. I like this. Shut up, 
And that red rock again is pretty much just a guard, so Peterson's trying to lose both of these. And the opportunity here, try and pull this off for Tara Peterson. It's the yellow. That's a good shot there from Tara. That red rock was never helping you in that spot, so now at least you have a path in. So what option does this leave for Sarah Anderson? She's got to make Peterson waste a few more stones, continuing to, to guard. And they're guarding the number one counter every time, making sure that you take away any chance of moving both stones. So just a two and a half on this line would be good. Sweeper's trying to get it to turn over. Line looks pretty good now. Good, good. good sweep there. Ends up in a good location. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I don't have any of it. Okay. This appeal is okay. is probably fine for now. Yeah. You still have three like more shots get, after this. Just get that. You can hit it a little high and maybe move them both off. Okay. I think I prefer that. Just yeah. slightly high. Yep. Yeah, I'd be careful okay. right now. You don't need to make this run at this point. You might get a better chance on the next one. Even if you don't, you can always draw around a bump, but you don't want to leave your shooter yeah, up here and let them have a guard to go around. Close. Whoa. Yeah, almost, yeah. Well, Corey yeah. Tisi, can she clear this away by design? Moves Nicely them both done. off. That's really well done. I don't know if I agree with the risk involved in playing <laughs> it in that situation, but when TC's playing as well as she is, maybe you just have the confidence to let her, let, it, let her let it fly. She's playing fantastic right now. Heard some MVP chants from the patrons here in the mall. Can't argue with that right now. Mine's good. And now Taylor Anderson, her final stone of the seventh. Still sitting one, bringing in a second go counter, go. so opportunity go to steal not dead go yet for Team go Anderson. Go, 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 go. Good. Good throw, Tay. Bites in the top of the four foot, no Dang. double available. Yeah. Probably like time that. to let okay. TC have another run at the, the run that back. Was pretty close. Yeah. Those might get both yellows. And even if it hangs a hair high, you could just stick it on the one on the side of the four foot. That's a good result, too. Well, the way Corey Teese is playing today, I think if you're Tab Peterson, you let her take some of these risks. Yeah, I catch the other no, one. No, no, this one no, a little no, outside, no, but no, still no, might no, get no, the second no, no, one. No, no, no. Okay. Now that's still good. That's the pro side there for TC, even though the main okay. objective was right now, right? to play nose and clear both the, right. the yellows. That still would have left a guard up. Killing one of those yellows makes things much more comfortable going to skip stones. And that's the right side to be on. And Sarah Anderson really needing to figure out a way to steal here. And Corey Teesey just made it really difficult with her two stones. So straight guard will be the shot here for Sarah. Okay, we got lots of room. Mine's okay. Girl, if you can. Yep, Lex, yep. Where is it? You gotta Lex go. trying to get it to okay, curl it. Cover this rock up. It's going to be a really tight Where? guard, so they don't want to go any more than they have to. Oh, leave it, leave it. It's going to be on the paint, it. so it'll be a double opportunity for Peterson. Okay. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Same. Well, yeah, because then I don't leave my. Yeah, I like it. It's pretty thin, though. Like I'll be able Wisely to talking about down. playing yeah, okay, it slash over the top so the shooter goes off and doesn't here. leave something to yep, go around. Yeah, I could do that. 
line we've been throwing with the okay. oak turn. Pretty straight. Yeah. Yep, looks good. So maybe a little less than two thirds close to that to get both these yellows and miss the backing. Okay. And the shooter rolls away. Yeah. There's may or may not stay in the house, but that's the least of yeah. Tab Peterson's concerns right now. Just wants to remove both these yellows. Wherever the shooter ends up, they'll deal with. As long as it doesn't stay there. They just want it to roll away so there's nothing to draw behind. First stone of the seventh end for Tab Peterson holding a four-point oh. advantage. That's perfectly done. Nice shot from Tab. No protection now for Anderson. Team Peterson starting to smell it. Here in the seventh end, four point lead. Anderson no choice but to freeze to this rock in the back of the eight foot. Needs to be perfect to not leave Peterson a chance for two. Start of the end knowing she needed a steal. Now she's hoping to get a force. Could still get a cheap steal with a half miss on the last, <laughs> but, but this needs to be made perfectly. And right now it's running and needs to curl a lot. Don't know if it's going to get to the line they need to. DC trying to bump so that it rolls off. Okay. Actually, just stop short of it anyways, so Tab can play nose with not a lot of fear for two. So Tab of the Peterson. Reigning national champion, trying to get back to the world championships. This time, Sydney, Nova Scotia, March 16th. She was a bronze medal winner in 2021. Just missed out on the playoffs last year. Tab still throwing firm. Yep. Oh. Yep. Making oh. sure that rock oh. goes no matter what, but oh, just clean trying it. to get Don't to nose. Clean. Clean it. That will be Don't perfect right on the beak. Two red it is. Two red for Tabitha Peterson. They lead by six going into the eighth end. And Steve's Curling Supplies, America's number one curling equipment supplier for over 50 years, is proud to support USA Curling. No matter your skill level or budget, Steve's Curling Supplies has all of the most popular brands and the top products in the sport. And right now you can save $10 on any purchase of $100 or more when you use the code USACurling10 at checkout. Visit stevescurling.com for all your curling needs. Perfect. Back at the Rankin American yeah. Dream. Joe Tolleson, Tyler George, 2018 Olympic gold medal winner. Glad you've joined us for this women's championship game, USA Curling National Championships, yeah. and a stranglehold it's held by far. Tabitha Peterson. Take a look, it's gliding okay. Running, In running. playoff competition, close, Joe, yeah. for our national championships, yep. and, and this is yep. true right. for world Everything. level and Olympic Pretty level right. as well. You have to play eight ends. Yep. So if Team Anderson was considering a concession to this point, they still have to play the eighth. So these types of ends are interesting because for obviously for Team Peterson, you want to stay focused on the task at hand. Uh, but 
it, it feels like a coronation of sorts. You never want to say the game's yep. over, but a six-point lead, one, the one, team of this caliber, one, three ends zero, to play. It, it feels like you're playing out the string. Just Very good chance this is the final end of, of this game good. and of this tournament on the women's side. But I can tell you as somebody that played a very important game where we had a five-point lead with two ends to play. Sometimes the hardest shots to make are the ones where it's right in front of you. Not when it's tied <laughs> up or ahead by a point or two, anything like that, but I, I can remember sitting in the hack in the ninth and tenth ends of the Olympic final thinking yeah. it's right there for us. Oh, my God, don't fall down. Don't mess up. <laughs> and I've heard that from other athletes Fire. in other sports, too, Any that the, the hardest time to convert, as you see Becca throwing one top 12s and then nosing her peel of shame, which is when you have to peel your own stone out that you just threw. The, your legs are a little shakier, your mind's going a little more. You, it, you have to take an extra breath, focus on the task at hand, let your muscle okay. memory take over. But the, the four hardest rocks to throw for me in the entire Olympic tournament were in the ninth when we were up five, and in the 10th when we were up three with the hammer. It's, it's just not a situation that your brain is prepared for usually because you're playing in a championship game against a world-class team. You expect this to be close right to the end. And then all of a sudden, especially that steal of four in the fifth, you have a huge lead and you're still trying to focus on doing your normal routine, not rushing through things, not overthinking. And, and this is the hardest time to do it. And for those who may be brought into this championship just this year, you're new to curling. The steal of four is really rare, so you can't just think, well, they stole four, why can't we steal four later? Um, talk about easier said than done. Okay. Yeah, I agree. On the flip side of things for Team Anderson, you, you may feel that you're your chances are extremely slim. You still keep going through your routines too, and maybe you can get a miss or two because of that nervous energy on the other side, the lack of focus. Find a three of some kind to get back in it. Papers by, and we'll try to settle in the back of the 12s. It goes through. Here, let's make one of these go away. So now it's yeah. simple curling shots for Team yeah. Peterson, just playing peel on these two corners. And essentially, if, you, if you're able yeah. to make simple shots the yeah. rest of this end, even if you just play single peels, yep. Yep, 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 the yep, best yep. your opponent can do is two points. Because if they ever do get under that corner, you peel it off. They can't ever have more than two in without one being open. Right, and with the hammer here on this eighth end, Lexi Lanigan really needed to have that stay in the house. And likely that it doesn't end up mattering too much anyways, but right. that's a, a big blow there. But if you're going to hold on to hope. <laughs> Softer. Trying to come in again Three. around the guard that's left. Four. Lexi's been so good in this tournament, too. You know, I'm, I don't want people to remember that shot. Sure. For the end of it, as she's been one of the best players in the tournament. Should be very proud of how she's played. And I think if, of, of all the players in the tournament, that she stands out as much as any other, maybe with a, a breakout performance in her role. Right. But does it ever jam on the back? Yeah, I feel the top one tap. And hypothetically, if, if, if they so, could I'm get three here in the that, eight. Somehow yeah. a steal yeah. of one or two in the ninth, and if you got the hammer in the tenth. Well, you're not going to have hammer if you're stealing. Well, that's true. You're not gonna, <laughs> so it's going to continue to. So you're going to have to steal to again. Steal. So you need a couple steals. And you're playing against yep. one of the best teams in the world right, who's Carol. doing everything they can right, to keep Carol. you from doing that. Hard so it's a lot easier to steal four as they did early Hard. in the game when Hard. both teams are trying to score. Right. Now, okay, the only objective Good. for Team Peterson is keeping their opponents from scoring. And 
Steals of two are hard enough, and you might need a couple of those. Yeah, a little error there from TC, leaving that shooter in play, which will serve as a, a guard for Anderson. Try to go around that stone. You can go back as deep as you want because you need to bury. It's going to be mostly yes, open go, go. still. Good. Gets a small piece underneath. Playing the peel with the bonus Can being if it a more? Yeah. Yep. it's really thin, maybe you could get both. Always just making sure of the first one. Corey TC. Yep, yep. Yep. Hi. This is close, yep. maybe getting it thin. Yep. Oh, oh, you're oh over curl, so like this all the way yep. off, probably. Don't need it in play. Keeping things spread out for now. Eventually, they'll have to try to go under that red again. They don't want to stack okay. these rocks close to each other this early on and give a couple cracks at losing both for Peterson. They want these even up so there's no double. That's well read by the sweepers. Dead even up. So there's a simple peel. Yeah, they don't need to leave anything in play. Don't care about being shot rock. Something that stuck around or nosed could end up being something they could freeze to. They do pick up two here. It is a national championship. Do you roll the dice on a pair of steals in the ninth and tenth? Yeah, I'm not sure. It, it's 50-50, I'd say. It, some teams say, you know what, we they've been the better team. Stealing four points in the last two ends is an extremely tall task. We'll call it a day. And some say it is the national yep. championship game. Yep. Let's play this out, give it Hard one more end. Maybe we can steal a two. Hard. Hard. I think two is the Hard. minimum they have to get for them to consider playing. This nice over curls now too. You can see Peterson just a little tight. Both on the throw and in the the body language, the energy. They're just trying to finish this off. Sarah Anderson making her way back to the hack. And trying to, as you heard her say, get a Christmas tree line on this one. Tuck a little more than half. I wouldn't have minded seeing them play the freeze on the open red one on her first. Okay. Yeah, you know what? I'm changing my mind. I think this is good. <laughs> Just thought maybe it might jam on her own and slow down the the rock going across if you froze to the inside. Your own yellow could be a stopper. Probably six and one half dozen, whichever you want to play. But this needs to go to get there. Over curling too. Can they get it by? Well, it just okay. touches, so open double attempt for Peterson to okay. yeah, whatever. Yeah. eliminate any chance of a two-point yeah. end yeah. for Anderson. Peel. That will likely do it for this. Yeah. 
national championship final. Yeah, I think if this is made, Sarah probably throws her last one for posterity's sake and then could be title time for Peterson, but yep. kind of look at this one as the clincher. If you can make this shot, and you like having that moment where you feel like it's over. And I think for Tab, this is the one where she can take a breath, think to herself, I want to win the national championship with this shot right now. So Tab of the Peterson. Comes out of the hack. Chance at a double oh. here that could oh. seal no. for oh. her another national yeah. championship. Oh. Yes! Yes! Yeah, just over curls a hair and sticks it in, so. There will be a draw for two. Just a matter of which path they like. The intern looks pretty good there. Maybe yeah, a made draw here is enough to keep this game going. My gut says they keep playing if they get this second point. Three beats lower. That was probably top eight, right? Top four. Last rock for Sarah Anderson here in the eighth end. We'll get a clock in and see how well the speed's holding up. The ice conditions have looked great. And can Anderson get two? And as a team, will they say, let's at least try and see what we get, can get in a steal in the ninth end. But first things first, and that's this last rock of the eighth. Light. 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 Line doesn't okay. look to be a problem. Good path. Girl, oh, restarted. Clock didn't stop, so I guess we'll never know. Good throw, Sarah. Nicely done there. Where I was clicking, it looked like it was right around 14-1, 14-2. <laughs> they do get two, and they're going to discuss. Two in the eighth for Anderson. They'll need to steal. Two in the ninth and two in the tenth. And while they discuss that, we can remind you that Warm Room Hero is the intuitive curling club software that takes the stress out of schedules, registrations, and more. Warm Room Hero, a platform built for curlers by curlers. Check out Warm Room Hero at curlingclub, curling.club today. That's Warm Room Hero at curling.club. Well, there are the championship trophies, the medals as well. And we will have the trophy ceremony when this match concludes. But a guard, a high center guard for Sarah Anderson, and now first stone by Becca Hamilton. And I guess, is there any kind of difference in strategy, Tyler, when you know you have to steal as opposed to just trying to see if you can work it out in the end? Well, you're all out going for steal. You're going right. two centers. You're always playing to put more rocks in play. And when you're just trying to stumble into a steal or, or force or either way, then you don't get yourself in too much trouble. If you feel like you need to bail on an end, you can. That's not the case with these situations. It's just you only have one objective. There aren't any other acceptable outcomes besides a steal. And really, it has to be a steal of two because you're down by four and you got to do it twice in order to rally. 
And really, in essence, you have to do it twice to force an extra end, and then you have to do it a third time if you want to get the win. Around it. It is an extremely tall task. <laughs> and it's one thing to have to do it in a league game. It's another to do it against the number one ranked team in the United States. Playing a couple draws in to just give Anderson something they have to move around, something to contend with. Eight foot's not a bad spot. Top four is better with this second one. Good shot by Becca. Nicely done. A little better start than the, the seventh end when actually had a couple rocks that helped the opponent, but those ones are in good position. And Lexi Lanigan, her first as yep, she plays yep, the yep. intern draw for a freeze. Yep. We can People can. Whoa. Where? And the good thing with that, that stone especially from Hamilton is they, it has to be moved. There's no steal opportunity with that rock where it is. So eventually it has to be moved. You can hear the sigh. Just a single? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Again, the guards are the dangerous stones in this end. You may be wondering why they're not hitting the open one in the house. Well, that's going to be there later on. It's not going to be guarded. Clean. Yep. 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 So the most important thing is opening up the center, Good. having access to the forefoot. Anderson coming in already again. This is probably too early to do this because now this allows Peterson to start smashing things in the house or even running that guard in. You need to make your opponent waste a few more stones with guards before you come into the house. This is just a little early for this. Where? Peterson be very happy to Where? be able to yep. remove Hard. that tight guard or Hard. anything you throw in. It's actually Keep stopping short of the yeah, house, which is not a bad on. thing for Leah. Anderson. Come on, Leah. Go, 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 but if it go, corners go. on that, then both those rocks are going to be gone real quick. And those are in a bad spot for Anderson. Tara Peterson will just hit this a little high and have both those yellows go. Out of the hack, and here we go as Tab of the Peterson's team trying to there you go. set the stage to celebrate a national championship here. Dire straits now for Anderson with no guards in play to help. And still looking at coming in again. Need to have a center guard to actually have something to work with. Coming in and playing the freeze again, which will allow Peterson to, to clear. Get it up. Okay. Walk it in here, Jay. I'll give you less ice. Yeah. They could freeze to later. But no protection. Just whiskers that red stone. And ends up rolling right into the pocket or the hole to clear that yellow yeah. rock. And they really need to steal a two. 
So in essence, we, I think we've gotten to the point now, Tyler, where we're prolonging the inevitable. Push this over a little. I'm okay with that. And that rock goes right between those two reds. I think that's okay. But she's going to have something to bring I'd like to hit it high and not jumble rocks up there and leave them any kind of backing. Those are a little inside, but I feel like throwing peel. Yes. Yeah. Not throwing anything but peel. Not overcomplicating things. Uh, nose are just a little inside. Don't mind. And that red rock in the top of the button yeah. still has to move in order for yeah, Anderson to have any chance at stealing. So shooter will go away here too. You don't want to move that stone yourself. So high side through the hole, shooter rolls out. Clean. And Corey Close. TC delivers. Close. Like they're actually looking at trying to get this to roll in and make it even tougher. I don't see a way in to get shot yet, so they still need to move those. Well, Sanderson needs to move it and needs to get to one and two with her last two stones. So they're just freezing for now, not moving that stone, so they'll have to move it with their last in order to get shot rock. Clean. First stone of the ninth from Sarah Anderson. Yep. Trying to cross oh. over into oh. that pocket. Freeze on the number one. Taylor. Yep, hard Tay. Yep. Yep, we can tap off. Yep. Whoa. Good throw, Sarah. Good shot from Sarah. That yellow still may go. If you hit that right on the nose, you get action off your own rock. So I think they can just smoke it right on the beak and actually have it kick it off like of both reds and go away. Yeah. Talk about it. They're going to call timeout. Have a little chat with Kathy O about this. Uh, I'm just wondering if we just like lob another one in somewhere. Right. You know? That's They're also considering just lobbing something on top of yeah, it. Yeah, on top of her. Yeah. That way if she which does essentially that, removes any steal of two opportunity. Right. Or one or something. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like, I think we I want to like make making them shot. Right. That's what Becca no, thought. We were I don't think so. Like we were thinking if we just freeze there, like lob one in there. She has to do yeah. it, and, and then, then we have she's something. only, yeah, she's only sitting in. one, and then I have a tap for one. Yeah. I just don't want to make it for her, and then she sits right. two. And you have to make a double to four. Right. Yeah. yeah. Are you okay with that? Or? Well, I'd rather try to move rocks around, but at the same time, you might be looking at two if you try to do right. that anyway. Right. I think more importantly, we just need to score. Right? Yep. So, how do we score? Yeah. How do we score? Do you think, you think it goes over top? I think I it's really hard. Tab's saying she doesn't want to make it for them, meaning if you catch it a little high, then it does just stick in there and they're shot. As long as you hit it on the nose, it would go, but her point is valid. If you freeze in that pocket or on top of that yellow, I don't really see a way that yellow can sit too. So it's a little safer play. It'll be two reds in front of that yellow. And the yellow shooter, I, it's gonna be awfully difficult to figure out how they could sit two.
Seeing a redirect maybe off that corner <laughs> guard for yellow on their last if they lock one in there, but. A lot of discussion here for a team up by four this late in the game, but understandably so. It is for the national championship. Just trying to freeze on the yellow stone. Becca for line. The top of the forefoot. Yep, hard for line, Becca. Line fine. Yes, you got to stay on it. Hard, far as it goes, far as it goes. Come on. Sweepers hard, trying to carry hard. it all the way down. Hard, can you bounce off of that one? Oh, okay, leave it, leave it. Ends okay. up just right. guarding that yellow. If yellow is second right now, yes. yeah, I think it. that redirect off the corner to the rock on the button is the right shot. Like board, just this That's the only way you're bringing two in to play. So where the corner is, the only guard in play. If you came off the inside of that with a redirect, incredibly tough shot. But you could remove the number one counter and sit underneath and actually have a decent chance at stealing two. From a chance at completing. Where do you put this? Because it, it's higher up and all, but somewhat similar, having to glance off a stone, roll into the house of what happened in the f in the fifth when they gave up the four. The shot they're playing is a much easier shot, okay. but there's no way you can score more than one point, which means the game is essentially over. Right. The only shot for two is the one that's far more difficult, but it's worth playing because you have to get two. So, yeah, the, just the redirect off that corner, sneak by the red in the top of the eight foot, take out the one on the button, you would be sitting too. And to be covered up by the rock that Peterson just threw. And it's the last rock of this ninth end, maybe of this championship game for Sarah Anderson. Trying to hold the line. Doesn't move it far enough, so red still sitting shot. I do have a little tap here for the, the second point as well. I think it'll just go straight. Yeah. 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 Okay. No danger in playing it. When you catch the it outside of it, it'll drag it towards the button a little bit too. So as long as they're going to play it out, Tab gets to help us with a little <laughs> curling 101 besides with those two redstones being pretty much frozen on each other. If you tap the outside of the stone, it will drag the yell or the, yeah. the red stone, the second one, yeah. towards the button. Okay. What will likely be Tab Peterson's Maybe final that. throw yeah. of this national championship and the coronation of yet another title for Team Peterson. Off the hack, last rock of the ninth is Tabitha Peterson trying to wrap up a fourth national championship and go back to back. Oh, oh, Tara. Hard, Tara. Hard, Tara. Hard, Trying Tara. to turn it over. Make contact and tap this up for one more point. Doesn't quite get there, but they do s secure the signal and the national championship once again. Team Peterson will be heading to the World Championships in Nova Scotia, representing the United States. The champs reign supreme once again, well deserved. We'll be cheering them on, wearing USA on their backs in a few weeks. So after opening this tournament with a 10-5 loss to Sarah Anderson, Tabitha Peterson bounces back, wins the page playoff, and then a 10-5 win, returning the favor to Anderson here in the national final. A fourth national championship for Tabitha Peterson. And up next, the world championships on March 16th, beginning in Sydney, Nova Scotia. And next here as well, well, time to hand out some hardware as you get a look at the final bracket here.
Anderson came in as the number one seed based on the head-to-head -head win in the opening game of this entire tournament, men's or women. But in the end, Tabitha Peterson winning when she needed to in the playoff rounds, including on this day in the national championship final, 10-5. And up next, well, that's only the one of two national finals because at 4 Eastern, 3 Central, it will be a rematch of the top two teams on the men's side, Corey Dropkin and John Schuster. Schuster won in the round robin. Corey Dropkin won in the page playoff. So it will be a repeat of what we saw on the women's side. A loss in the round robin, but two wins in the playoffs, which would make Corey Dropkin a champion. Or just John Schuster bounce back from that loss yesterday and get a ninth national championship. Should be a fun one later. Uh, two teams obviously very familiar with each other. The rubber match this week, both teams having won a game against the other. And that's the way you want it. Even up at one apiece, the two top seeds playing for the title. A hungry Dropkin team looking for a world championship berth in that all-important world experience. And so important, too, for the United States now with Tabitha Peterson's team will be our representative and the winner of Dropkin and Schuster for the, the men's side. This is the first year of Olympic qualification. So this world's and the next one, the finish at these championships can help qualify your country for the Olympic Winter Games in 2026. There is a tournament for second chance spots shortly before the Olympics, which is usually for either two or three spots, depending on if the host country, Italy, does qualify straight out from the Worlds. We expect that to be the case, being the top-ranked team in the world right now, Joel Retornez. If they do qualify, there will be three spots available in that second chance tournament, but it's a meat grinder now. There's so many countries that are looking to get in, so many competitive nations trying to make that 10-team field for the Olympics. You really want to qualify your country straight in in the 2024 and 2025 World Championships. So we wish Tabitha Peterson the best of luck in doing that, and the same deal for Dropkin and Schuster. Getting in that top half of the field, so important, taking pressure off of next year's Worlds. A top seven finish, essentially, for both the women or the men for their combined finishes in that two-year span can qualify the United States for the Olympic Winter Games. And we talk about trying to grow the game here. In the we talk about growing the game here in the United States, Tyler, and from what your experience on the international stage, and just, you know, you said it's a meat grinder now because so many more countries now are not, not only getting involved in the sport but getting better at the sport. Yeah, and, and that's why you want to stay out of that tournament. <laughs> <laughs> there, it used to be that it, you weren't, as concerned if you had to qualify through the, the B-level tournament, uh, the Olympic qualifier event, I believe they call it, because the competition really wasn't that strong. We, you expect to come through in the top two or three. That's not the case anymore. Now the, the entire Olympic field will be strong, and even those teams in the you know, 11 to 15, 16 ranked area for the World Championships, those are dangerous teams. So you don't want to end up in a place where you need to win in that tournament in order to get in. We'd love to see high finishes from our world representatives in these next two years. All right, and let's turn it over to the PA here at the Rankin American Dream for the medal ceremony for the USA Curling Women's National Championship. Bronze medals being awarded to the team of Delaney, uh, Delaney Strauss as they came up just short yesterday to Sarah Anderson. Or we would have had an opportunity 
at a rematch of last year's national championship. And congratulations, Delaney Strauss and her team, Rebecca Rogers, Sydney Mullaney, and Anna O'Hara. Yeah, this team is the future of USA curling on the women's side. Uh, so young, able to score at will, sometimes not able to keep the opponent off the board as much. But national runner-up last year on the podium again this year, played in three slams. We haven't seen close to the best from this team yet, and they're already competing with the top 15, 16 teams in the world. Invaluable experience in those slams going forward. And they'll be in the thick of things for the Olympic spot as well. And now the silver medal for Team Anderson. Sarah Anderson, Taylor Anderson, Lexi Lanigan, and Leah Yavaro. The medal's being presented by USA Curling Board Chair Brett Jackson and USA Curling CEO Dean Gemmel. I think of all the teams in the tournament, Joe, this team made the strongest statement about their chances to represent the United States, not just in future worlds, but in this upcoming Olympics. Making the final, beating Peterson once in the round robin. This is a team that hasn't played their best curling yet either, but you get on the podium at the Nationals, get to the national title game, valuable experience again. Their goal is to be ready for the 2025 trials. They would have loved to get to the Worlds. It's a disappointing day, but their sights are set for a year and a half from now. Being at their best in the fall of 2025, trying to get that Olympic spot, and they really showed in this tournament their ability to play with the best. I expect them to be in the same position in a year and a half, if not a better one than where we're at. Well, and the odd thing here where you're, in some respects, in competitions, you're all out for yourself, but then you need to do what you can to help your country. You need whoever goes to the Worlds to perform to secure the Olympic spot, but then it could be somebody else who comes out of the trials. And now, Team Peterson, the gold medal winners here at the 2024 USA Curling National Championship. As is tradition, the champs walk down the sheet together. Well deserved from Team Peterson, the class of the field once again. Just one early stumble in that first game. Ran the table afterwards. Loved their chances to compete for a medal at this upcoming Worlds as well. Tab of the Peterson, Corey TC, Tara Peterson, Becca Hamilton. And Sarah O gets a medal as well. As handshakes with Brett Jackson and Dean Gemmel. And the trophy's on the table as well. So once again, you will see Team Peterson with another plaque on the Women's National Championship trophy. The women's trophy is a little safer than the men's. The men's <laughs> tends to break apart into two pieces. I can tell you that from experience from the medal stand. But never gets old hoisting that national championship trophy, getting those medals around your neck, and then the best part of all, getting those jerseys that have your name and USA on the back. It's like Christmas morning every time. And now, the presentation of the National Championship Trophy to Tabitha Peterson. month and a half to prep for these ladies to get ready for the Worlds. It's a lot of fine tuning. They'll have some events in between to sharpen up their game. They have the mixed doubles for a few of these players to play some more high level competitions. As we mentioned, reigning world champion Corey Teesey obviously competing in that mixed doubles championship, trying to defend her title. What a couple of years it's been for her. <laughs> and applause from the fans around the rink at American Dream. 
an interesting venue because the fans really are right on top of the ice here. And congratulations to the 2024 USA Curling Women's National Champions, Team Peterson, 10 5 winners over Sarah Anderson and her team. We are back with you at 4 Eastern, 3 Central. It will be the finals of the men's championship. Corey Dropkin, who defeated John Schuster in the Page playoff. Well, can Schuster exact revenge or will Corey Dropkin get his first national championship against in a tournament that included John Schuster? We'll find out because it comes your way at 4 Eastern, 3 Central. For our entire crew and Tyler George, I'm Joe Tolleson, and we'll see you in an hour and a half.